Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I was getting some channel messages, so I decided to go ahead and make y'all a video before I go to work. It's going to be quick. Yes, my hands are ashy because I just got out of the shower. Mind your business. <laughs> um, But yeah, I was getting something about um voided leases. So I feel like somebody is thinking about terminating their lease. It could be due to some um issues in the home. Um <clears throat> neglectful landlords. I feel something about you wanting to um void your lease. I'm hearing sue, lawsuit. Um or this could be a situation where you and a friend got a um um a home together and this person may have walked out on you or didn't complete didn't completely finish out their lease i definitely feel like it was something that you worked hard on and you definitely not satisfied with the situation let's see where this going spirit Yeah, and this situation is definitely causing you to be stuck with the hangman here. But let's see. This video shouldn't be too long. Because I gotta go. Finish getting ready. And go ahead and start my day. So I'm gonna try to pull three cards. Yeah, so I got the emperor here. So this definitely has something to do with the structure, the home, um, stability. And it came out sideways. So, that's just, I, I don't know why, but I'm picking up on the energy of a controlling person, a controlling spouse, a controlling friend, a controlling anybody, somebody who stay with you. Something's not going right with that whole situation. Or it could be, um, like I was saying earlier, something about a landlord and they not, they're not they neglecting the maintenance of the home. You could be having mold. I'm hearing mold, mildew. I'm seeing like holes in the wall. You could have an AC leak that's constant. I feel like whoever this is is a very low, vibra low vibrational person. They're not very wise. They don't use their wisdom. I feel like you're you're more wise in this situation. Ten of, the Ten of Wands tried to come out. So I definitely feel like this has something to do with structure. Now I'm seeing so, a person like with some type of skin disease. This could be eczema all over their body. This could have been somebody who got burned in a fire. Or this could be somebody who just has... I see like a lot of white blotches all over their skin. Not like that monkey pot shit everybody be talking about. But um, like... It looks like eczema, but it's not eczema. It's like, I just heard skin cancer. And then I got the strength card. So I definitely feel like whoever this person is is definitely very controlling. Um, They may have a really big ego. See, I'm getting two polar opposites. On one end, one person is worried about their structure, stability, staying strong in the situation because I, I feel like you're being left out of something, being left out of the cold, being left behind. Um, So you're using your wisdom and your power to get your shit back. You know that you can do it on your own or this is something that you fear, but spirit is telling you you can definitely do it on your own. And if this relates to this um situation with the, um, I don't know why I just heard lawyer, even though I tried to say landlord. So I definitely feel like whatever this landlord is putting you through, you can definitely get some type of um, lawsuit out of it. Yeah, and I feel like this is, this, whatever they're doing is very illegal. They're, they're a very low vibing person. I feel like they have mental issues. But on the outside, they look very put together. They seem to be very put together and strong. I'm also getting something about feminine energy. Something about feminine energy. And then I got the king of swords. So I got two kings here. I don't know why I'm hearing something about a fight. So it's two men here involved. 
I feel like both of them have really, really um big egos. I also feel like these these two people are very misogynist. I don't know why I'm definitely getting like this could be people that work in the office, like where you live at, or this could represent um a personal landlord. Let's just say you got some type of loan on a house or a deed or something like that. Something about the truth, cutting through the truth. This his sword is sharp. And blue represents the throat chakra. So this is either spirit telling you, you need to speak your truth or the truth is going to come out. I also feel like one person in this situation, honestly, I don't give, I, I don't feel like either one of them care when it comes to this living situation. I feel like you had to be very graceful. You couldn't be, um, because I definitely feel like you're going to um, file some type of lawsuit toward these people. So there was a need for you to use your energy. You could be a woman or a man who possess very feminine energy. Because I'm getting definitely feminine vibes off this strength card. Because you know the strength card. Who who in the, who in the hell finna be um, touching on a lion? Unless they raise the lion. I don't know why I'm getting the energy of a farm. Not somebody who definitely loves animals. You could have a lot of animals. I'm hearing like 12. Um, But who the fuck finna be playing with a lion? Nobody. So in order for this lion to be so um, attracted to this um, woman is because she's being feminine, soft. She's not showing any aggression. She's not being very aggressive because the lion, y'all know, the lion is very aggressive, very territorial. When it's a pack of them, they call them a pride. So I definitely feel like somebody has a very big ego. But the truth will set you free. You could be feeling very stuck in this situation. I feel like these people are very fucking childish. But they put on this front that they're not. This is um fire, air, Leo. So a lot of fire energy here. I'm hearing wisdom. So there's a need for you to kind of be gracious in the situation. Do what you got to do when you go. Record every fucking conversation. Record every interaction. Make sure that you get um in black and white what happened. If you put in their work orders, repeatedly put them in in black and white. Sometimes when you go in there, they may or may um not sign the work orders. Um, You can even do um digital work orders, which means you can email the the facility they work for like if they send you emails or anything like that um but if they don't sign them you have at least on record which is a video that you recorded yourself going into the office showing them the work order they refusing to sign it trust me i know because i've been in a situation like this i don't know why this was so heavy on my mind shit but I just, I ask Spirit, what is it that you want me to speak to the collective? And they said something about voided leases. You done been through this. So, basically, I'm giving you the rundown of the situation that I've been in, been going through. You may feel very stuck in this situation, but Spirit got your back. You will be all right. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I kind of rushed this video, and it, it wasn't as many details as I want to. But I just feel like reassurance was all you kind of needed right now, especially being with the fact that I'm probably running late for work. But I just had to get this message out to y'all. Um, all right, Gold Gang, I really love you. Thank you for your um, support. And like my video, comment down below if you have any questions. Because like I said, I don't been through this situation. If you want to get any personals, everything will be in the description box. Please subscribe. Um, I may start giving out some free readings to new subscribers. I'll, I'll let you know. But anyway, I love you guys. And I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.